My name is David Woodbridge. I work as the National Adaptive Technology Advisor to the Vision Australia Retail Store. Soundscape is a GPS app that runs on your iPhone. It makes you feel a lot more relaxed in the fact that you can go to a place and then find your way back again. Beacon on bike track from main road next to school, 398 metres. Soundscape's a wonderful application that we're launching in partnership with Vision Australia that helps the low and no vision community to get a better sense of the world around them using audio cues. In terms of helping people with low and no vision to explore their community, sound is incredibly important. They already use sound to help them build a mental map of the world around them. And what Soundscape does is it adds to that, so it allows someone to really create that richer perspective of what's going on around them. The partnership with Vision Australia is, is really important. Vision Australia is out there providing services to the low and no vision community every day and we wanted to partner with them to make sure that our tools were being embedded in their strategies to help that community. Cake and Plate, the 24 Washington Avenue, Niagara Park. Our mission at Vision Australia is for our clients to choose a life that they want to live. And part of that is uh, mobility and travel, uh, to be able to get to places safely and independently. Soundscape will give the user that little bit of sense of security when they're out and about and travel. The fact that the GPS app Soundscape is a secondary aid, i.e. you use your mobility device, whether it's a cane or a guide dog, to navigate around in the community, it really allows me to actually access the community much more comfortably. Gosford Station, five metres from steps. It's a really exciting time for accessible products and accessibility in general. And, and we see technologies like artificial intelligence as incredibly powerful. Technology is an incredibly empowering experience for people with disabilities and we want to push the boundaries of that further. One of the things that Microsoft has done is we've announced a $25 million five-year program called AI for Accessibility, which is about trying to stimulate ideas within the community of how to use artificial intelligence to empower people with disabilities. Personally, I think it'll give a, a bit more sense of security of your environment. Our orientation mobility specialists have been trained how to use the app so they can pass it on to our clients. It just gives you an extra thing to have with you to be able to do what you need to do. 